Welcome to Policy On Demand, I'm Dom Megna. If you've heard anything about generative AI, it likely has been described as powerful or revolutionary. And using those words to describe AI in its use in tax is no exception. Joining me to discuss how tax functions can harness Gen AI to enhance operations, drive value, and why prioritizing a responsible, trusted approach is critical to achieve sustained outcomes is Nolan Ogden. Nolan, thanks for taking the time. Sure. So Nolan, let's get right into it. Generative AI is relevant to tax functions, and there's a lot of discussion about how it can be used. Maybe start off with just what are we seeing around how generative AI is applying to tax and how tax functions are starting to adopt it? Yeah, I would say, Dom, when you look at companies, um, it's probably 75% that have adopted AI at some point already. Um, we're probably looking in the mid 50s that have adopted Gen AI. And when you think about tax, like tax is right in the center of it, because there's a lot of processes and other things that can be streamlined as part of uh, this adoption effort. Uh, it's great, Nolan. You know, one of the things I, I know we often hear is as companies start to consider where Gen AI can apply is starting to get a sense of what some of the use cases are. Yeah. So what are the key Gen AI use cases that we're seeing for tax? And how can it help to enhance the operations and drive additional value for the organization? One thing we're seeing is being through this journey ourselves is we've got hundreds of use cases identified. We've been working on them, Dom, but a lot of these patterns are consistent. So I, I would make sure you look for similarities as part of this use case, uh, as part of this kind of use case journey. Um, we see a lot of potential for streamlining data ingestion, analyzing data, and then we also see a lot of potential for cutting first drafts, whether it's drafts of memos, disclosures, footnotes, things of that nature, that it's been very helpful there. Well, it's really interesting, Nolan, because when you think about it and the application of Gen AI, you also really need to start to take into account how that changes how people are going to work, yeah. right? And what do we see in terms of what some of those changes will be around the workforce and the makeup of the workforce that is now going to be using this technology? Yeah, I would say now more than ever, it, it's imperative to get the tax technical right, because while the tools can actually cut first drafts, you need that expert to really interpret what that means and to make sure that the answers coming up with the answer should be. So we call it our human-led plus tech-powered approach. That is gonna be key here. Gen AI is just another tool in the tool belt. There's lots of other tools that I, I, instead of putting a ton of focus on that, I wanna make sure that our tax professionals are actually taking a step back and looking at processes, looking at data and things of that nature, and then seeing how this tool can actually uh, improve change. Yeah, when you talk about improved change, right, I think one of the things that we all start to think about is the governance around yep. how that tool can be used and the impact that it has, right? So what should tax functions be thinking about in terms of how to prioritize a responsible, trusted approach to Gen AI in order to achieve the desired sustained outcomes that they're looking to achieve as an organization? Yeah, I would say really work together with folks in your organization. Uh, make sure that, because it, it's top of mind for everyone in the business. Um, and then prioritize some just low risk things first. Just try, try some basic research questions, try some basic disclosures and see, just kind of no regrets moves there. Other no regrets moves we're seeing, again, back to my response to the, the first question was making sure you've got these processes lined up because you know, got to have good data going in to get good answers coming out. So building that responsible, trusted approach out really requires, right, a lot in terms of uh, how the tax function needs to start to think about executing and prioritizing. What are some ways that they can really just get started today on this journey? Yeah, I would start with just upscaling. Basic, what is it and what it's not? Because I think there's still a lot out there on what the tools can and can't do. So just um, kind of basic, pragmatic, the different levels of AI, and then really take once you know that understanding and apply it to just some low risk, basic use cases. That's a good way to get started right now. Nolan, I really want to thank you for your time and the great conversation about generative AI. Sure. Thank you for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. 